second round of the Epic Animals Division. And the second round of the Connoisseur Critters Division. How's your division going? Yeah, the, the plants and bugs are winning. You, Lucy, Tiger, and Boar. Oh my! The porcupine was guarding her burrow against an invading fox when the bat fly arrived on a nearby tree, still riding its noble steed, the bat. Oh, no. The noble steed was getting itchy from the bat fly nibbling at it. It reached up to scratch with its claw and stabbed the bat fly clean through, then swallowed it whole. <coughs> the bat flew off, and the porcupine went back to her family. Easy victory. The stag can be up to 10.8 stoats tall, towering over the wolf, which is about half that at 5.2 stoats tall. Deep in the Carpathian Mountains, a lone wolf explored the forest. He came to a clearing where the stag was grazing. Wolf and stag locked eyes. The stag positioned himself to charge, but the wolf backed down, not wanting to try his luck alone. The wolf trots off, and the stag wins. The pitcher plant found itself lying in the outer Hebrides, and it was in really rough shape after the shrew battle. Its circumstances did not improve when it saw the great skua high overhead, fighting with another bird. The second bird threw up in mid-air, and fish got splashed down all over the pitcher plant. Ew. The skua swooped down for a meal of fish parts and pitcher plant parts. So delicious. We're back in the Cobb's habitat of Kanji National Park. The bee eater is transported here, and it is super confused. Huh? The bee eater sees the cob strutting about with some fungi still on its hoof, and it decides to flee the scene immediately. And the cob wins without having to even lift a hoof. The cobra lily is transported and transplanted in Borneo, right by the tufted ground squirrel. Squirrel does a double take. Because the cobra really looks like the cobra. The squirrel starts yelling at the cobra. Lily doesn't move. The squirrel launches itself away from the lily and across the field of battle. Oh wow, the cobra lily is winning again. Off the coast of Nunavut, the sperm whale was near a fishing boat, taking advantage of its discards. The raven was March Mammal magic above the boat and surveyed the noisy scene of birds and sea life. The whale poked its head above the surface, and the raven <coughs> dove straight down and chomped a small kittawake who was near the boat. The raven took its meal to go, riding atop the boat as it sailed off to be seen nevermore. The sperm whale wins! We go back in time to the Caspian Tigers era and home habitat in what is now Golestan National Park in Iran. The tiger lurked as the newly arrived boar forged about and then lunged at the boar. A terrible and fierce battle ensued. Claws, jaws, tusks, and hooves ripped through fur and hide. Finally, the bloody boar fled into the forest, leaving the gravely wounded tiger on the field. The tiger wins, but just barely. In Ethiopia, Lucy was up a tree when the March Mammal Magic Portal opened beneath her. Hmm. Once again, the giant squid lurked on the other side. And once again, the squid was left alone uh, as no. Lucy chose to avoid the certain death that awaited her in the squid's home habitat. 20,000 leagues under the sea, M more or less. The squid wins. 
Join us next time for the next round of battles. And thanks for sending in all this great art, indeed. <laughs>